All right, 92 to 95. This graph plots the number of wins in the 2006 season and the 2007 season for a sample of professional baseball teams. Which equation best represents a line that trends the data? All right, so we're looking at the line of best fit. So if I were to draw a line down the middle of this data, where would it go? Okay, so I would probably draw something here where both the data split. So my y-intercept is somewhere in this range, so from 2 to 6. So not 7 and not 1. All right, and I think 2 is too low. I think 5 would be the best y-intercept choice. So I would choose D. Number of 93. To rent a carpet cleaner at the hardware store, there's a set, of, there's a set fee and an hourly rate. The rental cost C can be determined by using the equation when the carpet cleaner is rented for H hours. Which of these is the hourly rate? Okay. Well, 25 is how much it costs to just flat out rent it. And 3 times the number of hours. This right here says $3 times however many hours you choose is plus that 25 is going to be your cost. So my hour, hourly rate would be 3. Okay, that H is the dead giveaway. Um, 94, this graph plots the number of wins for the 2006 and 2007 season for a sample of professional football teams. Based on the aggression model, what is the predicted number of 2007 wins for the team that won five games in 2006? Okay, so 2007 um, for five games in 2006. So here's five, okay? So it would be somewhere in this region. So four is way too low. Um, 12 is way too high. And so we gotta decide between these two. Well, I have a point at eight and a point at 10. So I would say between eight and 10, so that means seven is also too low. So eight, so C would be your option. 95, Sandra tell, sells necklaces at a school craft fair. She uses the equation P equals 7.5 N minus the quantity 2.25 N plus 15 to determine her total profit for the fair. Based on this equation, how much does she charge for the necklace? All right, so um, to find a profit, you're doing how much it costs you, um, how much the necklace costs to buy it, minus how much it costs to, to make it, and we call that the expense. So to buy and to make. Okay, um, so my cost, so let's write our 7.5 would be my cost, and then minus, and this is my expense. So based on how much does she charge for the necklace? She charges $7.50, B.